Hello and welcome back to Ben and Wine. Today we're going to have a little bit of a journey. We're going to look at some Penfolds wine. And those of you who are screaming saying, why is he having Penfolds? There's a reason behind it. Um, Penfolds make lots and lots of different um, wines from grapes that we don't often see on the market. And this Cellar Reserve Sangiovese is one that's only recently become available. Um, for a long time it was only available cellar door. Tried it about four years ago and thought it was amazing. Just like a really, really beautiful wine. So today I'm going to see if I still think that about it or if over the years it's changed. It's a 2003 vintage so there should be quite a bit of development um, but only time will tell. Let's have a look. Just, just quickly with that, I mean this has got like a fantastic, fantastic cork in it and I think when we talk about cork and we talk about cork taint, um, the best corks, ones like this which are just a beautiful one piece um, piece of cork, they go out to very good um, winemakers and then if there's any faults with that it drops down to the next level and so any taints get taken up by the second people and if they drop them and the next people take them down so there's all this cork out there, a cork like this is a fantastic cork, there's very little sort of leakage going into it um, and the problem with cork taint and things like that is that there's such a huge demand for cork that the stuff that gets rejected by um, the top producers ends up being put in um, inferior bottles down the line, which is why we see things like screw cap and the plastic corks and the vinolock and things like that. So enough about cork, let's look at the 2003 Penfold Cellar Reserve Sangiovese. So we've talked about Sangiovese a little bit, uh, classic Italian grape from, uh, from Tuscany and it's unusual to see it made by some of these big guys. It doesn't smell what I remember. I mean, this smells like a big Australian wine, but that fruit's starting to break down. It's, I mean, it, it smells fantastic. It's really, it's, it's Moorish. You just want to smell this wine. You can see perhaps a little bit of the colour going. You're getting a little bit of a brick edge around the side, which shows that it's got some age on it, about four years. It's not from the colour. I know that because it says it on the label. It's, it's very, very nice, like it's very supple, very fine tannins, it's very elegant, you've got some lovely, not deconstructed fruit, but the fruit has definitely evolved, really good acidity, you get some cherry, there's, there's, there's some oak definitely, um, some chari flavours, it's a beautiful bottle of wine. It's not what I remember, but then, you know, time changes everything and it definitely has had an effect in a very good way on this wine as well. Um, not the cheapest sort of Penfolds wine out there. It's about $35, so it's not going to break the bank. Um, but if you want something different, if you're a little bit scared of moving away from the big brands like Penfolds, then move into something like this, their Sangiovese. And if you can't find it in a bottle shop, go to benhamwine.com and we'll get it for you. Wow. It's funny the way they sort of get these, like it's still got that really classic Australian-ness to it. <laughs> 